We're told here that x and y are both positive numbers and that their sum is 1. So that means that in the extreme, one of them would be a tiny positive fraction and the other would be approaching 1. I'm imagining 0 0.99999. And in the other extreme, they would be half and half. Now this question is asking which of the following is possible. So for that, I'm probably going to think about the extremes where x is 0 0.0001 and y is 0 0.99999 and then also the reverse. Now mathematically, it's going to be unnecessarily complicated to use those crazy decimals that I just mentioned. So I'm going to run a thought experiment in which they are 0 and 1 and then 1 and 0. And the reason I say it's a thought experiment is because they can't actually be 0 and 1 but they can get very, very close to 0 and 1. So just as a thought experiment, I'll pretend that that's what they are. So if x is 0 and y is 1, the expression is 200. And if it's the reverse, if x is 1 and y is 0, then the expression is 100. So from that, I can say that the value of the expression could be anywhere in between 100 and 200, not including 100 and 200. Why not including? Because the values of x and y can't actually be 0 and 1, they can just get very close to those values. So the value of the expression is greater than 100 and less than 200. Now looking at the Roman numerals, I can say that only 2 and 3 are possible, and therefore the correct answer is E. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.